Can you give me some insight on what it does to the psyche when players are able to do things freely and, and allowed to make mistakes? And, and what that in, in, in return, what kind of personality and confidence that gives them? It, it is, uh, I think it's one of the uh, m most important pillars of my beliefs in my philosophy about developing young kids and players. And again, it comes back to creating the right environment. Aaron, if, if you do research into human beings' behavior, and especially if you start with kids, uh, they tend to respond to positive feedback. Uh, if you just only give negative feedback, it creates fear. And uh, therefore, then players become insecure and therefore will never be able to express themselves fully and, and, and truly. If you turn that around and you encourage young kids to express themselves and as, as much as success, failure is also part of that because sometimes you need to make a mistake to understand how to do it right. And it's just a normal, a normal thing which should never be highlighted as a negative thing. You need to create an environment where both those elements will be able to, uh, you know, to exist. And as a coach or a parent, whoever's involved with young kids playing football, do, do remember you are responsible for creating that environment and do realize the damage that you do if you do create the wrong environment, a negative one, which is based on try to correct the kids all the time, try to tell them all the time what to do uh, and, and shout at them and give them negative feedback. All those things should be banned uh, in general anyway, because it doesn't matter whether you talk about adults or kids, the, uh, human beings respond better to positive feedback and positive environment. So therefore, it's so important that we and all our coaches attached to the emergency method understand that. And what you get then is that kids, they feel, first of all, they feel secure. They feel appreciated. They feel that they are in an environment whereas they say, right, okay, we've got these all these attributes, all these skills, and I'm going to showcase as many of them are going to really express themselves. And if things don't really work out, there's no penalty for it. There's no punishment in terms of a, a negative verbal comment of anybody shouting at me. And it is also important for those environments that we, we need to make sure that these kids can make their own decisions. It's absolutely no value in the fact that a parent or a coach tells a kid, pass the ball to Jimmy or do this or do that, because then it's not his decision or her decision. It has to be the player's decision. We are responsible to create the right environment, make sure it's a positive one, and the environment needs to challenge the kids to be able to express themselves and to grow, because only with failure, seeing failure and then experience success, that's when you grow. That's when you grow as kids. And when these kids grow and experience success, the confidence grows, the personality grows, and then they like to take initiative, and then they grow as a whole, as a human, but also as a, as a soccer player. And, and, and that's so important uh, for us. And that's one of the most important pillars, I think, for the events that we put on.